Hi there, Mark here again. Welcome to this video where I'm going to look at uh, a little project for this Hobby Plus CR24 uh, 24 scale crawler. Um, it's a great little car. I've had a lot of fun with it and it's great in uh, confined spaces. I'm not really that keen though on the uh, body. It's not got that much detail. It's a bit of a jelly mould really. I've been looking for a while for something to replace it. Um, I looked at some Tamiya Static 124th kits but the problem with those is they're very expensive and uh, the bodies are quite uh, fragile so uh, I've been looking around and uh, I looked on Argus the other day and I found this thing. It's a CMJ Land Rover Range Rover Sport uh, 124th scale radar control. This was uh, would you believe 11 quid, 11 pounds and would you believe I bought two of them? Why has he bought two? You're saying. Well, um, I checked out on Argus and they got a deal. This one was 11 quid, and for 15 pounds you could have two. So basically, this one cost me four quid. Now this thing is actually licensed by Land Rover. Would you believe? So it is really a, a very good uh, replica of the car. The reason I went for it, or for two of them, is you might be able to see you've got um, a nice. A replica body it's got uh, I don't know if you can see in this light but it's got like a pearlescent white and it's got a pearlescent black roof on it we've got um, we've got the Land Rover badge there and the Range Rover emblem on the front um, all looks pretty cool it's got working lights so we've got clear lenses on the front we've got clear lenses on the back even though there, there aren't any LEDs in there but I think I might be able to do something with that so the plan is basically to take this CR24, take that body shell off, and there's the uh, very capable chassis, and we're going to take the body off this and try and mount it on there. So there's basically six screws holding the uh, the body onto the chassis of the uh, toy grade car here. So you've got a screw in there, in there, again two in the front, there and there, and these sneaky little ones hiding away in the battery tray so there's one there and one there so you take those out and uh, off comes the body we're going to see what we can do with this now luckily the wheelbase seems about right I might need to uh, adapt these wheel arches because obviously the uh, the tyres and the wheels on the CR24 are much bigger but I think just looking at that it might just work so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the front bumper and the rear bumper off the CR24 I'm going to disconnect all the wiring for the LEDs um, and see if I can adapt this um, to fit with the new body so let's have, give it a go okay so that's the body posts and the front and rear bumper taken off I've also uh, removed the wiring loom that was all zip tied to the chassis and um, taken the lights the LEDs out of the bumpers there was a little problem with the one of the front ones the uh, white LEDs one of the leads had snapped off and I got a spare uh, three mil lead so I've soldered that on so that solved that and on the rear one there was a poor connection and that turned out to be uh, one of the leads was corroded through I think it was when I ran this through um, salt water when I ran it in the sea and I hadn't got a spare rear red LED so <laughs> I've uh, stolen the one that came with the controller there was a little red LED in there so I've taken that out desoldered it from the circuit board okay so you can probably see there it's a different colour to the original but it does the, the other one does shine red as well so if I just plug this in hopefully you can see the red LEDs there at the back are working fine and the white ones at the front so I've pulled out the original uh, LEDs that came with this body I thought I might as well just fit these straight in and they go straight into the little light buckets and uh, that's going to be a straight swap but for the rears, as I said before, they're blank, there were, there were no holes at all. I've managed to take the one lens off and what I've done with this side is the, there are tabs on this um, red clear plastic and uh, it's been melted 
um, with the soldering iron something to seal it in. So I've just scraped away with the, uh, the scalpel and taken the little tabs off. So now if I push on the tabs that are sticking through, should be able to get the other one off. There it comes. So that's nice and easy to take off. So what I need to do now is uh, drill three mil holes for the rear leads and then I'm going to get some glue, glue the leads in place, uh, get the wiring loom in place and we can move on to the next step. This is made a little bit more tricky because it's, there are kind of fake kind of bulb shapes in the back there where I want to put the LEDs. It's going to be difficult to drill that out. I won't be able to do it from the inside because there's not enough room. So what I've done first is got a bradle and I've kind of forced a little hole in that kind of bulb unit thing. What I'm going to do now is get the smallest drill I've got, I think it's a one and a half mil. I'm going to try and drill through that. Okay, so that's going alright. I'm put my three mil drill in. So that went alright, so I'll just see if we can get one of these LEDs to pop in that 3mm hole. Yep, going to need a bit of glue to hold that in place, but it's looking okay. Just pop the lens on. Yep, jobs are good, aren't? so I'll get that to glued in, get the other side done and the front ones in and then we'll move on to um, seeing what else we can do with this body. So that's the lids uh, hot glued in place, just use a bit of hot glue there and a bit more hot glue just to hold the, uh, the wires to the body, keep them out of the way and uh, the lenses are back on so you can see the rear lights and the front and uh, just looking at it quickly I'm not happy with this gap at the back and the front so what I'm going to do to fill this in is to uh, get the donor car again and I'm going to get a hacksaw and I'm going to chop these parts of the chassis off so I'm going to cut across there, cut across there and then hopefully get these bits that have got the bottom of the grill and the exhaust and so on at the back uh, and get those glued onto the body to finish that off before I start looking at how to mount this onto the chassis. So I ended up cutting off the front and back of the uh, chassis with a Stanley knife, um, scored it and um, a pair of side cutters. As you can see this the plastic uh, it cuts pretty easily if you give it a good nip and yes yeah, so I cut through most of it like that so I scored it bit of uh, to and froing and it, the front and the back have come off and what I've done is glued those onto the shell and that looks a lot better now, it looks more complete, I might paint this up a bit later um, so I've test fitted it onto the chassis and it's looking okay but as you can see the wheels are much bigger diameter than the actual arches in the body and I think it looks a bit daft really like that plus obviously the wheel is going to catch on the edges of these arches so what I've done if I turn it round you can look at the other side you can see that the arches on this side are much bigger get that in there and it looks more fitting I think um, and what I did to get that was I got something that was about the same size as the wheel which is this jar some abrasive paper and just wrap it around there and then it's just it's just a matter of a bit of patience and a bit of bit of muscle um, put that in there and just keep rubbing until it widens up and um, the top of your abrasive paper there um, stops against the top of the wheel arch see what I mean if I put it in there so just keep going until the abrasive touches the wheel arch at the top and then it's time to stop and that's got those as you can see much wider than originally and I'll just get on and do the other side and hopefully it'll fit a lot better so that's the wheel arches finished, they look quite good I think, um, they've come out 
really nice and smooth and I managed to finish off after that abrasive paper with this really fine 800 grade wet or dry and that's come out beautifully smooth and it hasn't even uh, damaged the paintwork so that's a bonus so both the sides are done and just to finish off to attach it to um, the chassis what I've done is got my favourite material a bit of uh, aluminium I think it's probably a 0.5 mil or 0.4 mil so it's very thin it's quite rigid but it can bend quite easily if you want to my trusty old pair of tin snips just cut out a couple of pieces and I've used those to fit uh, these brackets to make those brackets there the rear is simply zip tied drilled a couple of holes zip tied it to the original body post mounts uh, that's nice and sturdy a bit of uh, velcro attached onto that and again there's a little one on the front I have actually uh, drilled some holes in the plate and just wired that onto the existing body posts because I didn't want to to spoil this and drill holes in it I wasn't sure whether this tiny bit of velcro would work and hold it in place but it seems to what I've also done is put another little plate here and mounted it onto some of the original body mount posts like this with the original screws on the back there and again a bit of velcro there's a the velcro on the front and um, it should line up so let's get it turned on and wired up so there we go and as you can see I can hold the whole thing up by the body so that velcro really does do its job it's uh, attached really <laughs> quite strongly so there she is you can see that we just about touch the wheel arches I've tried to keep it as low as possible that body so it doesn't look too ridiculous um, but uh, yeah there's just about enough clearance for the wheels to turn when it's on uh, full extension and uh, yeah so that's basically the job done so I hope you've enjoyed this video this conversion when we've gone from this to this um, all I need to do now is uh, just show you a few shots of it in the workshop around just show you what it looks like and hopefully get a little test run thanks a lot for following along hope to see you on the next one Bye.